rather unusual, Chief. Asking the commission to bestow the badge of honor on a dog. Well, I appreciate that, Commissioner. But this dog has earned that honor. Now, in spite of Tarzan's extraordinary intelligence, he doesn't talk our lingo. I beg your pardon. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Lloyd Wilson will explain the details of the case. He's the owner of the dog. Gentlemen, at the suggestion of Chief Gallagher, I brought Tarzan here so that I could explain to you how he captured the thieves. It was on a Saturday morning, April 15th, and being the assistant cashier of the City Investment Company, I was on my way to Seaton National Bank. And when I arrived at the bank, I left the dog outside. Now you sit there, Tarzan. Stay there. Thank you very much for transferring your account to our bank, Mr. Duran. Oh, Mr. Seaton, aside from the security, which is beyond question, I've listened to some very marvelous sales talks given by your charming daughter. Yes, Dad. After nearly killing Mr. Duran with a golf ball, I sold him the idea that your bank was quite the best in the city. And, considering the size of Mr. Duran's account, don't you think I'm entitled to a boost in my allowance? <laughs> I've been expecting that. <laughs> yes? Oh, send Mr. Wilson in, Miss Baker. Will you fill out these applications for deposit, Mr. Duran? You'll find pen and ink on the desk there. Oh, thank you. Morning, Mr. Seaton. Sorry to keep you so late on Saturday morning, but I have to have those bonds before you close the vault. Isn't it rather unusual taking the bonds out of the vault on a Saturday? Yes, it is. But I have instructions to offer those bonds at the opening price Monday morning. And as you know, the city investment company, they insist on having full security on deposit. Bring me the envelope from the vault marked City Investment Company. I beg your pardon. Am I being completely ignored, or does that view from the window fascinate you? In the language of the underworld, you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Can't take what? Neglect. Now, don't be ridiculous, Anne. I haven't neglected you. I'm too busy working, trying to make money. I can't devote all my time to society, even your charming society. Where were you Thursday night? Thursday night? Yes, I waited dinner until 8, and you didn't have the courtesy to phone. Well, I was lining up a big deal Thursday night, and I called you just as soon as I got to a phone, but you'd already gone out. If you disappoint me at the swimming party, you'll be numbered among the exes, the has-beens, the oh, authors... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll be there, honey. You'd better. I wouldn't have to work so hard if I hadn't made up my mind to marry a girl who's accustomed to every luxury. Now, aren't you positive-like? Well, I've made up my mind, and I'm frightfully bullheaded. Here are the bombs, Roy. Oh, pardon me, Anne. Lloyd, where did you leave Tarzan? Well, he's out front. I think I'll go out and visit with him. He appreciates me. Oh, you're getting rather choosy with your company, aren't you? Mm -hmm. This is correct, Mr. Seaton. $200,000 worth. Here's your receipt. Shall we see you at the swimming party, Lloyd? Yes, I've promised myself that treat. Gorgeous, big rope neck. You know, young fellow, I ought to be jealous of you. You're getting a lot of attention that should be mine. Do you know that? Oh, 
dress is hard. Is it your dog, Oh, your dog, Sandy. Oh, my God. 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 Mr. Duran. Shake hands, Tarzan. That's strange. My favorite breed. You know your dog's the first one I couldn't make friends with. Tarzan, if you want to stay with us, you shake hands with Mr. Duran. If you don't remember your manners, you get back in the office. You get back to the office and wait for me. Juan, hurry up. If you want to stay with us, you shake hands with Mr. Duran. I'm sorry. I'd much rather have him for a friend than an enemy. Can I drop you off anywhere, Mr. Wilson? Thanks, at my office if you don't mind. Oh, good. I've never seen Tarzan take such a dislike to anybody. Do you believe in the theory that a dog can pick the right people from the wrong? Experience has always taught me that. And any dog lover will tell you to watch out a man that a dog instinctively dislikes. And Tarzan certainly dislikes him. He's very well bred. Dorothy Billings introduced him. She knows him well. Mm-hmm. You're sure there's nothing personal in this? Personal? What do you mean, personal? The uh, green-eyed monster keeping her on, perhaps. Oh, I should say not. Well, let's just skip him. I want to talk about you. Uh. We're supposed to be gone. Answer it, I told you. Metropolitan Realty Company. Hello. Let me speak to Blackie. It's the big fellow. Come here. This is Mr. Black speaking. What can I do for you? Bonds. 
KTO, knock them over, RN, RN, I wonder what that means. Right now. you set. Just a hallway.
Lay flat and keep your trap shut. This is a real McCoy. Down. Not a squawk out of you for a half an hour. He's mad! Chasing some crooks. Did you see which way they went? Well, I'll be a flop beard mule. They told me that dog was mad. Say, what did they steal? $200,000 worth of gilt edge bonds, that's all. Phone in a description to headquarters. I'll grab a car and see if I can overtake them. Okay. Say, hey, wait a minute. I'm going to use that car a minute.
I'll never forgive you, Lloyd, if you allow these ridiculous charges to break your spirit. Anne is absolutely right, Lloyd. Well, it's mighty fine of you, Anne, sticking by me like this. And you too, sir. But I'm going to locate those bonds, because in the minds of some people, I'm still a thief. Well, Davis says this matter shall not affect your standing with the city investment company. Oh, Mr. Davis has been mighty fine, too. But these newspapers with their cloaked insinuations is getting in my hair. I'm going to locate those bonds, but the last thing I ever do, just to prove that they're wrong. Mr. Durant is here to see you, Miss Seaton. Oh, sure, I'm in. Thank you. We're going out to the club. Hello, Anne. Hello. How are you, Mr. Seaton? Oh, sorry about that bond jam, Wilson. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, boy. Mr. Duran, I'm going to clear myself of this. Here, 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 boy. Come on down here. Quiet. Quiet. Now you get down here and go back to your chair. Go on. Go on back to your... Lie down there. Now you lie down and keep quiet. We ain't given this baby no chance to make any sight or exits. I want to talk to you, Wilson. Yeah, we want to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Look out. Look out. Hey, look out. Hey, look out. Now, don't try to get new around here. When I want to talk to you, I'll call you. I'm awfully sorry, Anne. A couple of alleged private detectives. Don't apologize, Lloyd. Your treatment of them was splendid. Well, Anne, don't you think we'd better be going? And uh, let Mr. Wilson entertain his guests. Very well. Goodbye, Mr. Grant. Goodbye, Goodbye. Goodbye, Anne. Everything's going to be all right, son. Thanks. All right. You little boys can come in now. Listen, Mr. Smart. You won't find the answer getting fresh with me. Why don't you try that method of procedure yourself? Huh? What did he call it? You won't find the answer getting smart with me. We've had orders to watch you and see that you don't try to make any airplane trips. We'll be the poorest plaster kids from now on. <laughs> poorest plaster kids? That's one for the book. <laughs> Say, how do you spell porous plaster? Ah, oh, change it to glue. Would you gentlemen please kindly wait outside so I could continue my work? And don't try to hook you on us. Oh, I won't. I'll be a good little boy. meat tonight, baby. <laughs> the great Keysdale sweepstakes is about to be run. The first steeplechase to be held in these parts. Okay, hold the story, and then here we must miss the big lap. Here's the race. Bring on the horses!
So now you have two uninvited guests. <laughs> Dad, act as host, will you? I want to talk to Lloyd. I'll perhaps say undiplomatic things to diplomatic people, <laughs> but I'll try. <laughs> you know, I have a very particular reason for wanting you here today. Yeah, what is it? You know, Anne, I shouldn't have come here today. Dan. Well, it's awfully sporting of you to have me, but... In the minds of some of the, your guests. Aside from always being glad to see you, Lloyd. Absolute confidence in I can't tell you what a darling you are. They've branded me as a thief, haven't they? Yes. I'm going to be hounded by policemen like those two fellows all my life. And I'm going to get those bonds and return them just to show them that I'm not a thief. And then I'm going to become a thief. Oh, Lloyd, have you lost your mind? No. I'm going to do something, and when I stand in front of a judge, he's going to give me life for it. That's what I'm going to do. What's happened to all your principles? Well, they've taken them away from me. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to steal you. Oh. Come along. I promised the guests we'd show off that brilliant dog of yours to them. All right. Your attention turns in the Wonder Dog and his owner and trainer, Mr. Lloyd Wilson. I warn you, ladies, confine your admiration to the canine. The trainer is mine. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I thought he was so uh -huh. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> now, if one of you gentlemen will volunteer, I will show you how the dog will attack on command. L let him jump on you. Uh, you. You might stutter if, if I were there. How about you? No sale. Huh. All right, I guess I'll have to do it myself. Back up. Mr. Don, you're a big, strong man. Why don't you let him jump on you? My mother never raised any simple children. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Go on. All right. Attack. Attack. Atta boy. Oh, uh, no. Atta boy. Study, boy. Study. What's wrong with him, Lloyd? Study. Take a look at Duran. And there's something to this. I hate him. Any new developments? 
Ah, uh, it's just a hunch. I'm going to tip the chief off about it. Hello, Chief Gallagher. It's Lloyd Wilson speaking. Say, do you remember that fellow Dorian I was telling you about? Well, you better check up on him. And if you get any leads, phone my office. Okay, Chief. Thanks, Fred. How about a quick shave, Bob? Okay. dog in the car here and he disappeared. Oh, yeah? Well, don't you try none of that or you'll be... Be what? Listen, Mr. Freight, you get Riley with us and we'll put you away. I'm getting tired of trailing you anyway. Well, I don't enjoy your company either. And if you birds want to earn your dough, I'll give you a chance. Business, Blakey. Say, I'm handling this. We'll be doing Duran a favor to get this hot stuff out of town. Duran will wipe us out if he ever catches up with us. I'll take that chance. Get busy, Joe. Finger those tunnels. That's safe. I'll take care of Henry. Time up, Gert. See if he left the bonds in this. Let's get out of here. Keep your nerve. 
I want to check these and see that he hasn't planted phonies. You double-crossing rat! Well, you got us wrong, Duran. We weren't stealing these. We were going to hide them for you. didn't intend to double-cross me. Kirk, go down and get him. And he better be all right, too. Can you do anything for you? Yes, get out of my way. Yeah, get out of our way. So, you haven't got away yet, eh? Hold him, right? What do you mean, holding me? I'm not trying to get away. Don't kid me. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. This is Mac talking. Say I want this guy Wilson arrested. Yeah. Yeah, we want this guy arrested. Hurry, I'll keep him in his office until you get here. Phone Miss Seaton and tell her that I'll be unable to keep that appointment with her. Thank you. Where are you going? He ain't gone nowhere. Oh, Henry's a liar. We thought you were nerds to keep that hot stuff here. We were just going to ditch it for you. Henry? Yes, sir? Telephone got McHugh. I want him to take some friends of mine to a quiet spot in the country. Oh. Chief. All right, Mr. Wilson. Fine, thanks. Let's see it. You fellas uncovered some new evidence? Yeah. He tried to get away from us today. Is that all? That's enough. Say, listen. I'll arrest Wilson if you demand it. Do you realize you're subjecting your company to a heavy lawsuit for false arrest unless you've got absolute tangible evidence? <laughs> you're telling me the law? <laughs> That's one for the book. I'm safe. I know my business. I want him pinched. All right, Mac. But just let me give you a word of advice, will you? What happened, Lloyd? Oh, Ann, I wish you hadn't have come here. These two, uh, I mean, gentlemen, are trying to have me arrested. a mere formality, Mr. Wilson, but I'll have to take you in. I can consider the source, Chief. Okay, sir. Get your hat. We'll be going.
Why, Chief, this is the bag that the stolen bonds were in. Where do you suppose he got this, Wilson? Well, I don't know, but Tarzan knows. Then there isn't any mistake. Hey, you fellas cover the rear of the house. Miss Seaton, you better keep undercover. There may be some gunplay. Get back out of the room. It's a phony. <laughs> Maybe we better go and help him. Maybe we better not. Well, let's make up our minds. All right, let's. Wise guy, it's your turn. Get down. Come on. Down.
Went clear through his paw. Oh. I've got to get him to the doctors right away. Oh. Come on, Tarzan, old boy. Oh. Come on. So the bullet went through his paw. But he'll be all right in a week or so. Your request is well founded, Chief. Tarzan has unquestionably proven his bravery under fire. It is therefore fitting. Tarzan should receive the highest honor this department can bestow for exceptional bravery and service. 